Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from todaysiphone.com and welcome to this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday. This is where I cover all the latest jailbreak news and tweaks. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to it. Starting us off this week, Tiny Umbrella, the utility that allows you to save your SHSH blobs when you're jailbroken, was updated to now support iOS 6. Red Snow was also updated this week, adding in a new functionality called Re-Restore, which basically allows you to go from having a jailbroken firmware on your device to a fresh install. So if you're on iOS 5.1.1, you can do a Re-Restore, which will put a fresh copy of iOS 5.1.1 on. This will be useful, for instance, if you have a bad jailbreak, uh, something goes wrong during your uh, restore, anything like that, you can just put a fresh install on and then uh, you know re-jailbreak it or just stick to the clean install. Uh, this also would help when I heard people were having issues with iOS 6 updating from a jailbroken device. Um, just now you can do a fresh install and then update to iOS 6 if you haven't already. In regards to iOS 6 and jailbreaking, there is a jailbreak out. However, there is no utility that the general public can use to jailbreak and install Cydia on their devices. So yes, iOS 6 is jailbroken, but for the average uh, jailbreaker, there is no tool for them to use uh, to put City on. There is methods out there to do it. However, for the advanced users that are able to jailbreak iOS 6 and install City, I have left you a link in the description of this video that takes you to a Google spreadsheet that is up to date with the current compatible tweaks for iOS 6. So if you're wondering if those favorite tweaks of yours are compatible with iOS 6, you can look right there. They tell you if they're in development, if they are working, or if they completely are shot. Now let's talk about the iPhone 5 and its jailbreak status. Currently, it has been jailbroken by Grant Paul, the famous iOS hacker. Now, he did post a picture of his iPhone with Cydia on it. However, he didn't say anything about an ETA or him actually working on a public tool or a tool for the public to use, I should say. So what does this mean? It means there's no ETA. This means that there won't be a jailbreak anytime soon. And if you guys are looking for Pod2G to step into the game like he did last year, he announced today that he will not be working on an iOS 6 jailbreak, that he's going to be focusing on work. So, you know, the ball's in Grant Paul's court at this point. Uh, if he does choose to actually release a tool and make it happen, uh, I will keep you guys up to date on any of the news. Um, but at this time, there is an iPhone 5 jailbroken. Grant Paul has it, uh, and we just have to wait. Sorry. And now it's going to take us into this week's Tweak of the Week winner, which is actually kind of a different situation this week because I don't have an actual tweak to tell you guys about yet, but actually a port. Ryan Petrich, which I hope I'm saying that right, uh, was able to port Google Maps into iOS 6. However, it's very buggy and crashy uh, in his words, and so it's not ready for the general public. So I don't have a name for it. I don't have a place where you can go get it. But that is the Tweak of the Week. Why? Because when that comes out, that's going to solve a lot of people's issues with Apple's iOS 6 maps, which are kind of a huge letdown right now for some. I haven't had any issues, but for those that wish they had Google Maps back, it sounds like in the near future, hopefully, we will have a tweak out that will allow us to have Google Maps, because right now Google hasn't submitted a, a Maps app to the App Store. They, they said that today, Eric Schmidt said it, so uh, for now we just have to wait for this tweak and uh, maybe download some different apps from the App Store for your navigation needs, because iOS 6 sounds like it's not cutting it for everybody. And that's going to wrap up this week's edition of Jailbreak Tuesday. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to respond. And if you're looking to get in contact with me, the social network links in the description of this video do lead to me, so feel free to click them. And other than that, guys, you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, peace.